there was someone there. Oh well, she doesn't even care. She's storming away. Hello, welcome back to vlog number three. I can't believe we're on number three already. Number two isn't even out yet. Um, it's out in about half an hour. So hopefully you managed to give that one a watch. Um, I know there was quite a lot of chatting in last week's one. So this week I'm going to make sure I get more training in. It's just a bit harder when um by myself. So yeah, I've roped Mark in to come into the gym with me a couple of days next week to get some filming in. It is Sunday today, it is Sort Your Shit Out Sunday, um, this is the day where I kind of do all my life admin, get my food shop, make sure I'm set up for the week, so it is half past nine just now, I'm just going into the gym, train back, do cardio, and my new favourite thing at the weekend is to get the majority of my steps done while I'm in the gym so that I can just be lazy all day. So yeah, that's the plan for this morning. So made some changes to my plan heading into this week. Um, I'm going to up it to 5 20 minutes of cardio and I've dropped my calories just ever so slightly on my rest days. So the reason I've done that is me and Mark are going to Paris in about 5 weeks. So I don't want to be like grafting my ass off and then I'll go to Paris. Um, I'll be off plan then so I'll be kind of eating what I want I don't want to go to Paris and then fuck it up and be back at the beginning so I want to push a wee bit harder now so that I've got some room to eat croissants training is the same training day food is the same rest day calories just has one less meal so I've dropped that from five meals to four meals just now because my rest days tend to be on my busiest work days um, so that means it actually suits me better because I don't have that much time to fit all those meals in. So yeah, that is the plan for today and I hope you enjoyed last week's vlog. When I started training I'd say I picked, I was a bit of a stim head so I picked pre's that had like the highest caffeine, highest crazy ingredients um, but yeah now I've learned a wee bit more about them I prefer a kind of focus or pump pre. Um, I don't know if the focus ones actually work or if it's just a placebo effect but I really like this one. It's the Dean St Mark's pre focus. Looks like that. The flavour is Sour Stardust. Um, don't get me wrong, I still have a stim pre on my leg days because they are a bit more intense, but I do prefer pump ones for my upper body. back to the vlog it is still sunday i'm just out a walk with chloe that's my dog um so yeah her name's cute isn't it just out a walk with chloe just now um been to the gym and trained back this morning and um, took some pictures post-workout as well and i'm pretty happy with how i'm looking i seem to be a wee bit leaner in my midsection my waist um and my chest and my neck area is always the first to go um pretty much just like every other female legs and belly they've never left the chat they've always been there um so yeah pretty happy with that a few people have said that my face is looking a bit leaner so nice to know that i no longer have a big ball face um but you know chubby cheeks are in look it so yeah plan for the rest of the day is i still need to go to my food shop um i'm just going to do that after i've been out with the dog um and then i need a meal prep i think i'm going to do three days worth of meals busy on Monday at work, semi busy on Tuesday and busy on Wednesday um, so yeah three days worth of meals I'm um, feeling a lot better this Sunday compared to last Sunday, good vibes today, no case of the scaries um, and I'm feeling pretty motivated, pretty good going into the rest of this week so yeah so I had change in my purse, I'm just going to the shops so I had a vintage parcel to take back um, and because I'm such a nice girlfriend, I've got one of these meals to take to Mark. How good does that look? Um, and I had change to get a cheap energy can because the cheap energy can slap. So I was going to get one of them. But then I seen the Alani Kim Kardashian one. Um, and I really wanted to try it. This is Kim Aid. Um, but I'm not going to lie, Kim. I don't like your advertising for this because... 
Kim lifts about two kilogram dumbbells and Kim pretends that that's how she's got her body like that. Right, but anyway, test, test. <sighs> Smells just like lemonade. Tastes just like lemonade. That is nice. It's vegan. Thank God. Gluten free. Thank God. 140 milligrams of caffeine and sugar free. Oh, we're falling down. Bye. Solid. Six out of ten for the Kim Can. I was just influenced. The meal though that I'm dropping off Mark is one of the fresh fuel ones and before I started my prep um, I had it and it was really really good. It was just like a Chinese. These are really good uh, if you don't have time to meal prep. Um, and as well see sometimes by the time that you go and buy all your expensive shopping you're just as well getting these because um, they make a really tasty meal. And they've got the macros on there for you. So fresh fuel Ayrshire. Um, and you can get these at the gym as well. Performance gym. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. I'm sitting in my seat like a big G. Um, if you work in a gym in January, then you will understand why I'm wearing a jacket. It is freezing. Um, but it's now Tuesday. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't vlogged since Sunday. I've just been super busy um, with work. I've kind of realized that you can pick up your camera every single day for about five minutes, or you can get the majority of the vlogging done in a couple of days so that's kind of what I'm aiming for the days that I'm at work I'm vlogging a wee bit less um, weight's been fluctuating quite a wee bit um, so that's a bit annoying but I did have my period for a couple of days there so that might be why um, I don't get consistent periods just because the contraception that I'm on um, they're a bit random so yeah I'm trying my best to kind of track it the Fitbit app is really good for kind of tracking your menstrual cycle um, I kind of always know when it comes because I still get the symptoms so I still get a wee bit of cramp um, I get pretty bad hormonal acne kind of always on my forehead and I'm really moody so is Mark. My fingers that that is why because I've kept my meals exactly the same so far this week. Um, the only thing today is I'm about to train quads again and as we know my weight goes up again after that so when things like this happen you just kind of really have to make sure that you've got your head down and you're pushing through and you're sticking to the plan um, and the drop will come. So yeah that's that. I've had two meals today. My bagel meal, chef's kiss, my favourite one yet. Um, hopefully I can keep the big bagel in for as long as possible toasted bagel wheel or pack just hits different so yeah about to take my pre-workout for legs that's why i'm sitting among the sups we're gonna go and train quads so that's the plan for the rest of the day <laughs> Um, I'm just home from work and I'm taking my makeup off with a wipe. I'm sorry if you're a skincare person. Um, my sister always gives me any trouble for taking my makeup off with wipes, but that is the Gucci wipes, these ones. Um, and then I have a little cleanser for after it. I just um, like to take the first layer off with a wipe. If you think I'm sounding like I'm ill, I'm actually not. I just trained really, really hard in the gym today. Um, one thing I really love about my gym is there's always somebody there to kind of push you. So I was training quads um, 
and I always kind of train quads round about the same time every Tuesday. The same kind of people are kicking about, we're sharing machines. Um, I actually didn't want help, I was already dying, but I was on my 20th rep, so it was my last set on the leg press. Um, so I was going for kind of lighter weight and more reps. It was my 20th rep um, and a guy in my gym came over and I was like, right, let's go now. And I was like, what do you mean let's go now? Like my set is done. Um, and I kind of lost count after that, but I think I got another 10, 10-ish. Um, um, I was screaming the house down and now my voice is gone. So that's that. It was a really good session. Um, Screaming my house down and now my voice is gone. I'm proud of myself today. It was a tough day, an early start. Um, I tried to do my cardio this morning, but because it's January, all the cardio machines in the gym are pretty busy, so I couldn't get on it this morning, which wasn't ideal because I wanted to get it done before I trained my legs. I trained my legs, didn't have it in me to go on the Stairmaster after it, um, done the my nighttime clients, and then I went back on the stairs. So a long day, but it is still pretty early. The plan for the rest of the night is shower, eat, thinking about putting fake tan on because um, and watch Love Island. Love Island's back. Um, I haven't usually watched it the past few seasons but because it's the All Stars one, what a vibe. Um, so that's the plan for tonight. Tomorrow we are back to work again. So yeah, dreams don't work unless you do bitches. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Wednesday morning. Um, I don't start work till a wee bit later today, which is nice. So it's half past eight just now um, and I'm just back from Sainsbury's. I went to get some petrol because it's really cheap there guys, just now. And um, some chicken sausages. So I'm just prepping my food for work. Um, and usually I get the Aldi ones because they're a bit cheaper. But because I was going to Sainsbury's, I thought it just made sense. Um, and they actually had them reduced because they're going out of date today. So I'm just cooking them all up just now um, so they'll be okay to eat. Boiling my eggs for work and I'm just about to make my oats. I'm going to show you how I make my protein oats as well. Um, in the vlog, protein oat tutorial coming up. food for the day just one day so i've got chicken and rice mince and potatoes two eggs two chicken sausages a bagel with butter and then i've got two oatmeals with 50 grams of oats 30 grams of whey and 60 grams of berries and i'll add some peanut butter to the top of them later in the car again just about to go to work we a bit more of a relaxed fit today because it is a rest day still got cardio to do but i've got kind of like loose joggies on um and if i need to put leggings on i always keep a spare pair in my bag in case they rip which they tend to do sometimes quarter to ten i've been up since half six this morning um and i haven't had my first meal yet so i've had loads of water and a coffee um, but I'm going to go into the gym, do some more steps and then have my first meal. So there is method behind my madness today. My first meal kind of in line with my clients today. Um, so I think I, when I go in, I've got four clients back to back. Um, so I want to have my first meal right before I start them. Four hours of work um, and then I can eat again. Because if I ate when I woke up, I would be starving like throughout the day. So I've pushed my first meal back today and then I have got more food to eat throughout the day. Ah, winning. Hi Amy, thanks for your check-in this week. Hopefully you have had a good week. Season of the sticks and I Season of the Saw your mom, she forgot that I existed. Vroom, vroom. Gym time. Got to pick up Mark. Go and train. Glutes. Um. Here he comes. Hi. What's up? 
Is there anything you'd like to say to the vlog? Don't say anything rude. And my stretches. No, I just mean like say hi. <laughs> I'm well aware this video is a wee bit longer than usual and I know people enjoyed um, how long the last one was but this one's just a wee bit longer so grab a cup of tea, grab a wee becky and get it watched. So it is Friday, went into the gym this morning, done my check-in pictures. We are only 0 0.7 of a pound down this week so not even one full pound um, but looking at my pictures we are, I'm happy with them. Um, as much as it was a bit frustrating um, throughout the week there, I'm pretty happy with how my pictures are looking. My waist has came in a wee bit again and the skin on my legs is looking a wee bit tighter. Um, so yeah, happy with that and scale weight isn't everything, especially when the pictures are looking good. So i done my cardio this morning, done my steps, done all my client check-ins um, and now I'm just going to get my nails done. So this is what they look like just now. Um, not too bad so yeah they are three weeks old so they're needing a little bit of a change up i think i'm going to change the shape we're going to go for a kind of almond baby pink you know january clean girl vibes um gym bird hi can i please have um a double macchiato yeah no worries any other drinks no thanks that's everything I just realised that I didn't even show you my nails from yesterday so I just got them like this I never ended up changing the shape um, but yeah baby pink I'm just in work just now it's early on Saturday morning I'm waiting for my first client I've got four clients this morning bang 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 done so I'm doing then I'm gonna do my cardio and my steps for the full day so I don't have to do anything later hello I know you're probably wondering why do I look like a Greek goddess. Um, a couple of reasons. One, it just comes natural to me. Kidding on. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It is my sister's birthday, so that's why I've put a wee bit of an effort in. We are going out for dinner. And I was like, mm, maybe I shouldn't share that on the vlog because I'm on a weight loss journey. But I was like, no lies, hashtag unfiltered, hashtag real. So I'm going out for dinner. Um, I just made some adjustments to my calorie expenditure and my calorie intake today. So this morning I made sure I got all my cardio done and all my steps done for the day. Um, so if I moved a wee bit more, 
then that actually helped me. I'm still looking to stay in a deficit today. Um, I pushed back my meals so I ate later on in the day and I also kind of reduced my carb intake for the day because I knew I was maybe having a wee bit more carbs um, in my dinner tonight. So these things aren't necessary, um, especially if you are just looking to kind of diet to be a wee bit healthier, a lifestyle vibe, um, you definitely don't have to kind of reduce your calories or things like that. You would just simply go enjoy the meal um, and move on from it and get back to plan the next day. But because I'm being a wee bit more serious, um, I made the adjustments so yeah I'm also here to round up this week's vlog. I'm pretty happy with how I'm becoming a wee bit more confident on camera um, and with my editing as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as much as I did enjoy to create it. This week's kind of weekly roundup in terms of my deficit. Um, I'm not making any changes heading into next week because I made some adjustments kind of midweek there when I realised things were becoming a wee bit more stagnant so we're going to carry them on into next week with the slight increase of cardio um, and a wee bit less food on rest days so we were only 0.7 pounds down on the scales this week but um, I'm really really happy with the changes in my kind of visuals so in my pictures so yeah I'll attach them somewhere like I usually do um, and I finally built up the courage to say it. If you enjoyed this week's video, then please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.